Fresh air. Made it out in one piece. Congrats. That concludes your training. You've still got a hard path ahead. But don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> you may have been hired under false pretenses, but your assistance was invaluable all the same. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Aranea. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, His Excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I've just received word from Cindy. And? Where to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Make sure you're prepared. Shame to say goodbye to such a nice fishing spot. Want to see what's biting before we both- hey, what's up, potatoes? Yeah, it's pretty early. We're gonna hop on for a bit. I was trying to get Ocarina of Time on the Citra to work, but my OBS is, like, acting up. You're headed to Lestalum, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. <sighs> Look at that! A red yeah. ship. Oh, have they? Yeah, I feel that. OBS usually acts up off and on for me. OBS is like really bipolar half the time. Rise and shine, Prince Charming. We're here. It does. It does. It needs medication. Sounds like a spot it. of troubles popped up at the power plant. Hmm. Wish I could help, but I'm powerless to do anything I'm not ordered to. I'll leave the Thank keeping you for of the, the peace life, to you. Of course. We got this. Good luck, boys. Loving that outfit, Noct. Why don't you wear one? Oh, that's the only one. And if anyone stands a fighting chance in there, it's you. Forget about fashion and go. <clears throat> Testing. Do you read me? Just wanted to thank you for offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle, but two of you should be fine. And a little heads up, we're getting some unstable readings from the generators inside. Too much power and the whole place could blow, so be quick. Will do. So, you my backup? I thought we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a sec. You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Now, if we're done with the introductions, follow me.
We're gonna kiss in here. Hey, we're gonna smooch. Wait, I need this. Come on, dude. It's like when you pick something up and he's got hops all of a sudden. Yeah, it's smooching time. There they are. You ready to rumble? Hell oh, yeah. Ain't touching me. Nope. Out of here with that. Moves you've got there. Reminds me of the Serpent King right now. You make a good spy. Oh, yeah. You think so? Yeah. What are you two? We're detecting a major power surge. She's gonna blow. Abort the mission and get out of there. I ain't want to leave unfinished business. Can't speak for him though. Then allow me. I got this. in there. As promised, here's your mithril. And, uh, thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Oh, not bad. Whoa. Someone did a number on you, though. You should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. Knocked? Gladdy? I can't believe it! Hey. Thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So, Gladdy, did you apologize to Noct for storming off like that? <laughs> he <laughs> just the other guy. Yeah, he's got no clothes on. The power plant. He oh, fell out so ass you up. got your hands on some mithril. But cheeks up. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. I hate You'll when that happens. probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me and Kayan when you're ready. Knocked. What about it? Anything happened while I was gone? Yeah, the car got. Hey, do you think we could swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec? I like cup noodles as much as anyone, but I think you might like them a little too much, big guy. There's nothing else like them. They're easy to make whenever you've got a crate. He was talking super fast there for a minute. What the? Something dawned on me when I was on my own. Any food you make tastes better when you use good ingredients, right? Then, if you take something already delicious like cup noodles and add in the finest, freshest ingredients, what do you get? The ultimate flavor experience. So I ask you, Noct. Yeah, this dude really does. It's ingredient? crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Minced meat is the key to every perfect cup of noodles. But why stop there? I say we outdo the ordinary. Find ourselves some real good meat that'll surpass perfection. All that's left is to make our Top noodle dream noodles. a reality. First up, the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Alright, this quest I'll actually do this one's pretty fun. Alright, where's the 
car. I'll just go to it myself. <laughs> oh, it's not. How far away is it? You'll know, be sick if it popped up on my map. Oh, it's not even far. I think you have to fight a boss for the for whatever ingredient. I never did the meat one before. I did the um the shrimp one, you have to fight like a big crab or something like that. Welcome. Some refreshments. You'd help call pests? My knowledge may be somewhat limited. Thank you. Uh, please come again. Huh. With all that muscle, behemoth meat's gotta have a good texture. Can't say I've ever eaten it before, though. Usually the behemoth's the one doing the eating. I just hope we're not next on the menu. Those tipsters know everything. You ask them a question, they always got the answer. Their knowledge is impressive, as is the freedom with which they share it with others. So we have Let's to move fight the behemoth before someone again? else in the know beats us to the punch. I mean, I don't mind fighting it again. Let me equip some magic. I think you need fire for it to be super effective, but oh well. What's up, Brian? I haven't heard him say it too much in this one so far. We've killed a lot of stuff. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Brian. How's it going? Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Take a closer look. Oh, so it's another behemoth. All right. Knocked overhead. Same one as last time, pretty much. According to our tipster, this is the place. Getting assigned, this could be bad. Let's go. We can't lose this battle. Which means we can't run away either. I got this. You just sit back and watch how it's done. Better I can straight out thing or two. Well then, by all means. Oh. 
What's pretty cool about this though, this has like 10 years of like dialogue. Like, sometimes you can play like two, three times and nice hear different things. With you. Which is pretty cool. That's what it is, like, especially when you're trying to run, they right just keep here. bumping you the whole time. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. There's actually a Final Fantasy restaurant, too, I think, in real life. They make, like, these kind of meals and stuff. Yeah. They they replicate replicate the uh, dinners. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. You know something? Going through all that trouble to make our own custom cup. It's made yeah, me appreciate really cup cool. noodles. Even more. I Perhaps know this is Dragon Ball Z one too. Improve upon perfection. But it's I heard it's like finding the single yeah. best ingredient. It's and there's a Mario one or something too. Mario one's really bad. I heard. That harmony of flavors is key. Yeah, you're right. Makes you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. We're gonna beat the game and then we're gonna do the quest after. I'm just doing the story mode mainly. Some of them I'll do, but for the most part, just trying to get through this. That way I should be relatively strong enough to take on like the final one. 
I gotta start making magic and putting potions in it, too. There's a dungeon you have to do, and it's really long, and you have to... You can only heal from magic. You can't use items. So you have to, like, attack enemies with magic and heal from it. So if you, like, if you die, you can't use a phoenix down. It's just game over and you gotta start over from that dungeon. Really looking forward to Iris' cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. Shot with the lighthouse, hair blowing in the breeze, will be seaside supermodels. It'll save the quest. I'm not right. really feeling it. Maybe another time. Oh, but I wanted to be a seaside supermodel. He's such a sim. My cat does that too, she'll like jump on me, but then she'll act all cute and then I pick her up and then she starts attacking me and attacking my wires. I'm like, oh, okay. You just wanted wire noodles. You just want to eat them. Slurp them up and leave. Electric noodles, yeah, pretty much. And then when they get zapped, they'll probably just be good. They'll start behaving. Marshall came to say goodbye. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. I guess it's goodbye for now. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust and you kiss your brothers. Always. Wait, what? Who said that? You can never have too many tools. Here, 
Learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Just remember, it's so a destructive like force that doesn't discriminate. Day. Definitely gotta give your siblings just moves. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. <laughs> yeah, it's too late, you're too slow, I got it, I said it first. That's what you get. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it! The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know... I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So, next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the Ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the Ring, the Crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the Ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time. All the way oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to, yeah, yeah I was supposed to do that. Man. So is Leviathan. Yeah, don't worry, I got you on that. But Luna, we'll crash into first. someone. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Grievous. <laughs> got to do that. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Well, you're gonna yeah, see crashes if I, I use the. You can turn your car into a plane later, invasion, but and in you'll place, see a lot of crashing with that if I use it. To have acquired new I'll be doing that on the next power. playthrough of this. Because I'm gonna go back in the chapter. Because once you beat the game, you can so go back and you can play. You can convert your car into a plane. His strength did seem sort of... And like, 
he didn't fully natural. fix it, so it's it really glitchy. Like if you land, it'll just blow up and be just, it just says game over. But that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. Like, thanks, I appreciate I that. You know, could have happened to him. Just blow me up. There's a disturbing. I had a mission I had to do, and I kept dying. I, kept, I couldn't land. To brandishing his I converted that so quickly. My dad. I changed that and right what's back. What's the big idea behind that? That his powers the same as the power. Probably not of a chance. Not I keeping that shit. Sure. But I have my doubts. Ravis wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said. His actions are motivated not by altruism. I think the graphics in this are so perfect, though. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different, got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic's our first order of business. All work and no play makes it I don't know who the voice actors are. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has The guy who plays Noctis is really nice, so I know I, I think I only know him. I don't know what oh, else he does, though. Was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourself. I know he was hoping sure. he would get to voice him for good, like in other Maggie games. I don't know if Magoo they put him in for Tekken, if they have his voice. Uh, I don't remember. I didn't get to play it yet. You can count on Old West. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. But in the Final the Fantasy games, it's in Japanese, so like you can't voice them. Awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance. 
since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Nog. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? I'm gonna play on the Windows. It's a Windows yeah. edition, so I'm playing on PC. Permit? Relax, I got one. It yeah. loads way faster than consoles. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. I feel like it's more smooth too. Like I have no issues with it. Like I crashed Could one time, but like Could say that. other than that, I don't really have an issue. Years ago. That's what the guy Yeah, this game usually loads old. like it has ridiculously yeah. long load times on console. Badly. Especially when you're going like fast traveling, it takes forever. Like you're talking about like a three, four minute load time, like every time you're you fast travel or um when you travel to your car it's like a minute sometimes. Depending on where you parked. back on land. Yeah, barely. They call it the Walls of Water, but it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? next immigration what do you mean there's still more sir what is the purpose of your visit purpose uh sid it's all yours hey didn't we just <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint Maga, yeah, PlayStation Maga, really, Maga is really fun yeah. too. This is my first time Never playing it on, on the PC. Unless you're referring to the alternate You can, you can, do, you can drive on your own in the boat. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. I'm pretty sure you can drive around in this. Mm, this amount should suffice. You have to fish in this later on too. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. People flock <laughs> yeah. into the walls of water. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Mm. Mm. Right. Any ideas for accommodation? So, we're looking for the guy from the picture. An estranged friend of the king. Knocked. You ever meet him? Nope. No, this is, I played this a couple times, but this is my first time I'm playing on the Windows Edition. Oh, hey, 
they knocked? Yeah? There's supposed to be a scenic spot nearby. All the locals recommend it. Wanna check it out? Take some snaps? We have things to do. <sighs> I realize we're busy and all, but it's times like this you need to take a breather. You know? So come on! Let's do it! Let's go! Oh my god, he's so persistent. Next time, I promise. Oh, all right. It's a promise. He does. He wants to give me that special kiss. He's got to wait, though. Yeah, I know the ending goes. This whole game is really sad. This area, this story is right here that's coming up is really sad too. That's why I never understood when they said they don't like Noctis. Like this, like, I never understood that. People say he's like too whiny. It's like, dude, this man goes through like literally everything. I want to get me a glass of this. Then why don't you? Yeah, let's hit up Mago later. This man goes through more than Aranea. anyone can really imagine. She's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit the Imperial Army profile. All right, good. We, I won't spoil it. Uh, I which way to go. I'll try this way. Flavor of the day is. Oh, there's some elements here. I need these. Yeah, me too. I play. I like how when you beat it, you can keep your level and do it again. That's definitely what I'm doing after this playthrough. Do all the side quests and the monster hunts. I gotta say, Aranea really impressed me today. With her outfit? Well, yeah, that too. It's just. I always had this impression that the Empire was filled with nothing but jerks. She certainly doesn't fit the mold. Really makes you wonder. Oh, this is where that one you fight think is. she was okay with the raid on the Citadel? Ask her yourself. <laughs> Prompto is such a simp, I can't. Um, on the original, I beat, I got all the trophies for the main game, but I didn't for the uh, DLC. How about you? Did you unlock everything? This area is really confusing. I think I have to go back around. I wonder, is she really going to leave the army? You seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy. Arane or Cindy? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. I have no doubt both of them can wait. The DLC is so good. What's your favorite um, DLC, is it? Like, which one do you like the most? They made a book too, but I, I have it, but I didn't read it yet. I haven't read it. I need to make time for it. Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. I don't know how to get over there. Maybe this guy will take us over there. Gondola! Care for a ride? Gentlemen, oh, that's right, you kind of have to. It's been a pleasure. Is it this area? Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. All right, there we go. Yeah. 
Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Armor, as you've gathered. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you will. Yeah, that was my favorite with Ignis one. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware say that Ignis the terms of our independence one. grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. Man, if we would have got the episode we'll Luna, that would have been insane. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Couldn't get Most it. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled yeah, Imperial I did Arden officers too. Arden's leaving the really city. Good. I forgot about his. Has anything changed? I think his is actually. For now, it's now I would say Ignis and then report. Arden and then Prompto and Gladio the actually. Will soon open the altar of the Arden's is really good. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile I'll be doing emergency those eventually. provisions. This begs the question: If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished yeah. guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know. We have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss yeah, his terms is really good. with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. Then yeah, wait, you must yeah, be weary really from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Making you like the villain, yeah, you know? <laughs> we'll do just that. Hey, good morning. What's up? Splendid. Where are we off to? Eat something? You're about to see it get really sad in this game. And a few here. Uh, where is that located? Okay, it's that way. <laughs> What's up, bro? How's it going? Alright, we can go here. I'm trying to finish this story mode, even though it's I got quite a long way to go yet. No, I didn't get the DLC for this for, for this yet. For this version, I didn't. But I think once I beat this, do a second playthrough, like just get all the side quests done. Um, I have to get all the weapons, like the King's Arms, and then I'll probably jump into the DLC. 
we'll do like one at a time. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, that, we could do that. You did amazing on those. Yeah, it is. I don't know how I even like woke up enough to stream, to be honest. But I figured do an early one. I just sit there and I'm like, watch videos or, you know, relax or just stream. Streaming's relaxing anyway, so maybe I'll just hop on for a bit. Right? May as well, and there's nothing else to do. If there's nothing else to do, you may as well stream. And then when we do co-op, we could do like a 24-hour stream. Or like a 48-hour one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everyone's going to be expecting that if I say it. <laughs> yeah, I got joke. I got jokes all day. <laughs> it's actually funny if I mess. If you want to make a straight pa face, people will fall for it. <laughs> I could do that with a straight face <laughs> sometimes. If it's too funny, I I gotta walk away when I say it. Now I see yeah, I didn't play Final Fantasy 16 yet either. I want to. I, I saw it looked good, but I didn't get to try it yet. The game, the fighting looks pretty fun, like the gameplay. Oh, the combat wasn't that good, though. I'll have to give it a try and find out. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? I think for Zelda co-op, I think I'm a really good like teammate, you know. How about a ride Remember you kept saying it, like how how good I am. The war is won, yet they continue harvesting for soldiers. Now that you mention it, that does seem like overkill. Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Oh. Uh, I looked like the combat was good. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a place in here you can Welcome get like triple. Back. Will you be requiring well, a room? Well, very well. I can't now. Greetings. Oh yeah, here it is. Fifteen thousand. Oh my god. Very well. Huh? Will you get triple experience points for that? Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Oh, uh, like reskin. Making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Yeah, I don't know how Did much they can really knocked? do with the enemies since like they're all really the same on Final Fantasy. The cactuars are the same, behemoths are the same, you know, like most of the enemies are the same. So I don't know how far they can really go with making the open world ones. I think it's this way. This place is like a maze, man. Right, here we go. Oh, it's not open world either? Well, that already sets me off on it. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's gonna be tricky if it's good. I mean I don't mind, but I guess because it's its own game, you know, like of course it's not they're not all gonna have open world. Thank you for coming. 
I heard they were supposed to be making fun of NC9. I don't know if it's true though. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescombe didn't extend me an invitation. So I decided to extend Again my with own. the Jones? There's a patty again with the Jones. Who's Jones? Both the king and the oracle are finally <laughs> in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your Yeah, I'll care. play for the story too and give it a try. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. No, we didn't get the a remake gods of it the yet. Empire be damned. We got for Android and stuff, but that's it. suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Seems to me you want a proxy to fight the Empire. Very sharp, Your Majesty. But before we go into that, there is one matter I'd like to settle. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, yeah, I have no problems too. your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more, but as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. I'm gonna be a little cocky, screw it. <laughs> There'll be a reckoning for you, too. A leader must know when to bring out the steel. Surely you understand this. Yeah, I think I get it. Yet, getting is not the same as accepting. <laughs> still so young, and still so much to learn. Madam? It's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs>
I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. During the right, we must see to it. The Empire does not. It really does. This music's Leviathan. really good. The soundtrack Gonna right be here. Tough to pull off before the king receives her well, power. The music right here, rather. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed, the best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. How far did you what get in this? What you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the I didn't try 13 things? either. If we can dislodge them from the goddess. She will have a I heard there was an chance. update for it too, wasn't there? Sounds for good in theory, Sorry, I was uh, focused on the story it's there. It's pointless unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible. Stay alert. All right, we'll do. Like this one and nine are my favorite. Oh, about an hour. It was weird when I first got it, I only got that far. I got about to the Chocobo place and then I stopped. And then like, that was like when it first came out and then I, about a month or two later when I was off work, I, I jumped into it and instantly hooked. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the tribe really? into the Really? <laughs> you got that far too. <laughs> then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. He's fearless as hell. Knocked. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? There. Talk about a crowd. The whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today. With little hope, the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world. 
And as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Huh? Yeah! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Yeah! 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 Ye
You must know that the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our stars. <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow, the king will prove himself worthy. Trying to jump, but it's not letting me. There we go. Man! Ah! Ah! Go! Oh. What was this? Ha! New ride we borrowed from the Nifts! This will get us in close! Serious? Here she comes! I got this! I'll get as close as I can! Then it's up to you! Alright! Job finding this baby. The moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not again. Not making this easy. Not. Hold on tight. Dude, don't let go. Hey, it's up. Not. Can you reach? <laughs> no, I never played this Assassin's Creed games. I played a demo of one, I forget which one it was though. I should play this eventually. I need your power! <laughs> That was kind of a cheap dialogue right there, like, it's like what? <laughs> what are you expecting from that? <laughs> I think either one has like the same sentence. So the only way you'll help me is Do you remember the Assassin's Creed Festival in this? That was fun. About that ring. 
On second thought, you let him have it. <laughs> and do remind him about the crystal. <laughs> Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness, Shall know peace. How sweet. But please, Lady Luna Freya. You first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is really sad. And episode Ignis is based off this, off this exact part. So it's even, it's even worse. Okay, that for sure she's gonna be part of the party. But now he's done for. Basically like all your weapons that you got from the tombs, that's what he's throwing at her. Yeah, right? This part's sick.
Yeah, it really is. Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. Will you be there? that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Yeah, Noctis. <laughs> Sobbing. <laughs>
Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. You're, yeah, it's a really uh, it may take a bit rough scene. You're hurt. That's what I don't understand. People say like he's whiny and stuff. Small like, dude, this guy lost everyone. In the greater battle, his dad is. He was literally just about to get married. And Luna. She has passed. Umbra left that for you. It pretty much, the story goes really fast now. Like, it's actually almost over. But I think, wait, no, the Royal Edition has more stuff to it, doesn't it? So, yeah, the story's going to be a bit longer. This is my second time playing the Royal Edition. And I think the Royal Edition's included in this one. So, we're going to roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. Yeah, that's what I How's thought that too. Ring fit you? You'd rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know that? You don't! Ignis took one for you too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <clears throat> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! 
Leave them. Almost there. There's men in black are spooking me out. Shh, don't talk about others. Now go ahead, man. Get some sleep. On my YouTube, I'll have it. I'll be uploading it so you can watch. I saw it. Good, I'm gonna take it over. I'm gonna drive the train. Give me a break. I'm, I'm just hungry, is all. Anything in Cartanica worth stopping for? I doubt it, but we'll be there long enough to find out. Till we get there. On 
one step closer to finding the next tomb. Please help me! Huh? Oh, please, sir. Could you help me look for Yelro, Jaro, Becky, and Joe? I'll help you look for so what? who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos! I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far! They can barely flap their wings! Oh, they must be so scared! Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. If the monsters down there don't kill you first, the smell probably will. What? Was there a gas leak or something? No one knows for sure, and I'm not risking my life going down to find out. If you want to risk yours, though, then be my guest. Welcome, boys. We don't have much, but you're welcome to... Take care, boys. Highness? Yeah. Now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck, and hold your nose. What? Thanks for the advice, I guess. Hey, kid. Help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing is, the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts, and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Why ask for help when you can just demand it? Keep pressing the wrong one here. Yep. <laughs> Gonna make it home. Gonna smooth the teammates. Ready to set out. I'll manage somehow. Well, we made it to the quarry. But our destination likely lies deeper inside. Feeling a little out of my element. We're a foreign species in this environment. Mind we don't end up prey. Right. Good tip. Footing's bad. Watch your step. As best I can. Go at your own pace. We'll wait. Don't push yourself, Ignis. Is it too much to ask the royal procession sticks together? Too much to ask you to shut it? Huh? Yeah. Ah. 
okay? No, you weren't. It's just... This is the switch that activates that big hunk of junk. Doesn't look like anyone's tried to use it, though. The tomb must be down below. Whoa! Careful, Ignis. <sighs> right. They parked here? Huh. Wish we could write him a ticket. Nothing but a giant roadblock. Eh, ironic for a vehicle. If we get his motor running, perhaps we can move it out of the way. How about we flip the switch? Hmm. Certainly wouldn't hurt to try. This looks promising. Is it operational? We'll see. Hey, what are you stopping for? I'm not. Let's see here. In case of power failure, use backup generators. There's a key in the shed. So where is this shed? Well, if we knew where it was, we wouldn't be looking. Which means it's got to be somewhere we haven't looked yet. Watch out, Iggy. They're on top of us. Oh. Don't thank me yet. Guys off!
exhausted. Took more photos today. Uh, you want to see? No, not really. Yeah, of course. We should get moving. You okay, Agnes? I'm fine. Don't mind me. enough to me. Hey! Here, I found the key. Huh, pretty irresponsible to leave it out in the open like that. Where is the generator? Didn't you read the sign, Iggy? Not funny. Hey, knocked! Wait up! Not gonna hit me, huh? Not today. Never mind, you got me. Look, she's wired and ready. Give it a go. And don't blow it up. Oh, 
Thanks for the advice. Did it work? Yep. One more to go. Seriously? Since when are there two oh, of dancing? Can it? Let's just get this thing moving so we can get on with our mission. for long though hurry up and move the machine yes sir Sounds like we're clear. Grand. Then let's move. <laughs> Hold up. You sure you're ready for this? You got what it takes? To what? To face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength. Got a long road ahead. Can you see this through? To the end? As if I have a choice. You think I like the idea of people sacrificing themselves for me? One after the other? Enough. Forget it. I thought you'd accepted your duty. I thought wrong. <sighs> Good to go. We did it! Together! <sighs> This cave is huge! The tomb's further in? You wanna wait here? Alone. Here. Not what I said. <laughs> oh, the royal tomb's gotta be around here somewhere. The question is, where? Yeah, I, will, I will be right back. What about over there? Looks pretty to me, to me.
What is this? I hate eggs. Do we really want to know what's back there? That looks like a mouth. Is that its face? What? What is it? Something real bad. Covered in drool. Makes a mess. Better fry him. I think we found it. Just wish they found a better place to build it. <laughs> now turn it up. Turn it all the way up. Turn it up and have people around. moment. Is everything okay? It bloody well isn't. And I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but I object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be it's there. It's not about us looking out for him. Uh-huh. 
Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well. I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says his majesty? Noct, you are king. One cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward, always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Noct will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk. We better all be ready. You guys mind if we stop in Tenebrae? Eh, might as well hop off. If it helps him move on. All set for boarding? Yeah. Well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio, he just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. 
Back in a moment. Sure. There you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of. What the hell are you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh. Shut up! Be careful there! Wait. Is this for real? Oh! No! Oh. Show yourself! Uh, knocked. That son of a bitch. Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing a. You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this. You won't even let me, Noct. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! Knocked! Are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you the rear, all right. <laughs> we'll check the rear. Did they bomb us? Check the rear, eat the rear. Not. We have to protect the people. Looks like they've got the tree. <laughs> Head to the next one! <laughs> Leave these guys to us. So much for a safe ride. More of them might be on board. Let's check the rear. If we need to get the train moving again. I'm sure Ignis and Gladio will come up with something. I hope so. Let's go. How bad do you think it is? Yeah, he really does. Like, I'm walking to him. He's like, let's check the rear. Crap. The MTs can self-destruct. Can't let them inside. Well then, we take the fight to them. That thing's huge! Got yeah. company! Let the party begin! Uh, uh, against an army. What are the odds we'll win? Uh, uh, He's back on his feet! Uh,
Knox! Who's ready for round two? There's just too many of them. Oh. Run out of ends. Yeah, it's fine. Take your time. Have a safe trip home. Ah, oh, it's okay, potatoes, it's fine. Of course the way it wouldn't register. All that finger work for nothing.
What's wrong? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse. You can't keep hopping up like that. Well, look who's here. Haranea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me.
<laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? Oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. We lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> you mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Pigs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the Ice Goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, <laughs> I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shovel. My word, is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. 
To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Luna Freya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. to be together with Noctis again. Even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. 
Dining car's open if you need a break. Shall we shove off then? Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. Snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. I gotta go back and sit there. I wonder what it could be this time. Attention, sir. Yeah? What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped. As for the cause, outside the fix. We'll take a look. Oh, no. 
I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. You got censored again. You better keep <laughs> moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here. Warm up. Better be snappy.
don't know that. Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sack. Right. No way. You! Hold it! That son of a bitch. Stop! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Pronto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about <laughs> your <laughs> friend. They've fallen and they can't get up. They need Why not alert. lend them a hand? <laughs> a coldness that can only be hers. Let it now be done, as promised to the Oracle. Tiana, it's you. You're the Glacian. Tales of the past and hopes for the future are manifest in the King of Kings. The Frostbearer's blessing shall be his. The Six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The God's protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyre Burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frost Bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them. The gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the six are sworn to defend this star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins, their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. In the days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, 
The pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bear. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... <laughs> If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. If we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? <laughs> no. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with yeah, the one she really loves. Sad. But want though she may. It, it gets worse. If you didn't think so, it gets the worse. The thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never I won't fade. spoil anything, but I'll just leave and it at that. In time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gantiana. See how fast I can proceed through this. Maybe we can and finish the, the story the rest of it. Lips, the of the then the messengers shall see that they are heard. The gods favor and I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> but it gets a lot worse. Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. So I'm trying to go through this fast. I'm deserving of your kindness. Thank you. So the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thanks. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now... 
never had the chance. I'm so sorry. you down. I know you won't. the Glacian. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, Remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. Yeah, they're gonna kiss. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but you knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? 
Zegnortus, an Imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. The hell? What is it? My guess. Something to sidetrack us. before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Knocked! The freight car! Keep moving! Strap in. Yeah. Got it. Threat upgraded. Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. Put the pedal to the metal. That's the idea. Don't crash. Thanks for the tip. Where are we now? Inside a tunnel, on the train tracks. Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up. Going as fast as I can. Hang on! How's it going? This car does not want to back up, right? It's closing! For it! Come on, old girl! That's all she's got. It'll do. And now he just lost his dad's car. Crazy. Uh, near the end, we're about to be done with it shortly getting pretty close.
Thanks for everything. Are we seriously marching into the capital empty-handed? And with no assurances, the Crystal can beat back the Demon Hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <laughs> this thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Hey! Ignis! Gladio! Look at you, all by your lonesome. You again. You know, for an Imperial Chancellor, you are one sick son of a bitch. Demons, the hell do you want? Leave me alone! This is getting out of hand. Oh, now you get to see the ring in action. The ring is sick. I think it takes like, it steals your life away or something. Like it drains your life. below. Might be my ticket to the top. This is my favorite move on this. Uh, I'm probably going to finish the Halo run through. going to finish the Halo 3. I got to do that yet too. We're going to be doing another ver run of this as well because I didn't finish the side quests and stuff, so there's still more to come with this when this is over. Now go. What am I supposed to do? Maybe another. Here we go. 
Maybe another. Nice. Yeah, he does. This is like his like stealthy run when like there's enemies nearby. And this is like a normal run. Like he'll walk like that when there's bot like a big boss or if there's demons. Another cool move is if they're about to attack and dodge it at the right time, the will blow them up. Like this ring is crazy. You get to keep it too. If you start a new file with the same, with your, uh, with this account, this uh, save file, you get to keep the ring and fight bosses with it. That's the way to the elevator taken care of. Safe to rest here. Yeah, I like the ring too, it's sick. Dead quiet. Where'd everybody go? It one-shots almost everything. 
Sometimes it's random if it'll kill a whole horde or not. Find them wherever they are. Can't you simply taste the air of foreboding? <laughs> These don't look like typical MTs. Must be tiring having to run all the time. That magic is a royal disappointment. different about them. Something off. Huh. Takes a special key. You're running around here? <laughs> it's all coming along swimmingly, isn't it? Hey, Bronto, wait! 
Hey, what's up? Yeah, I feel that. Invalid key. Data retrieved. Security clearance level one. Time to get to work today. Oh my gosh, thirteen hours is crazy. <sighs> And what have we here? Clearance level. Nice. Security clearance raised to level two. Access to level two zones authorized. Another trick. Back to square one. Security clearance raised to level three. Access to level three zones authorized. Oh, you should have seen the look on your face. You'd best hurry. Next time, it might really be your friend. Are you certain it wasn't the real thing? Or not to make a mistake? 
day. <laughs> Just so unfair. Desire so close now. Soon it will be within your grasp. I suggest you take the central elevator. It will take you to your goal. Aren't you helpful now? Don't look down, don't look down. Gotta find a way to make it move. protect himself, how is he to protect others?
I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Alright, I'm back. You're dancing, you won't. You won't. Well, that's a dead end if I ever saw one. not really giving me a direction to go. I can't do anything there yet. There's no stairs, there's nothing. Like... I feel like it. Wait, is it? I think I found the way. Found it. No, he, he'll keep respawning. The demons in this just keep doing the same thing over and over. I missed this part right here. We're good now. That's smart to save your, PB, your PTO as well. Mine, I get PBTO and PTO. PBTO is for, like, 
if I want to come in whenever I want and leave whenever I want. All keyed up. All right. All that to just go back all the way around again. Cool. The higher you climb, the further you fall. Yeah, the man's just playing, playing pranks on him the whole time. This is um, Luna's brother. So now he's gone too. Now he has his dad's sword back. <laughs>
Aha! Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Getting thicker by the second. Need to stop it. You can't, you won't. Security clearance raised to level 4. Access to level 4 zones authorized.
lot of health off. First keys, now power. What next? What was that noise? Is it scary being on your lonesome? This thing needs to chill out. They need to chill with these enemies, man. They need to relax just a little bit.
The Empire made considerable inroads into the science of demons. Well, after I showed them the way, of course. We'd managed to make demons. Right here. Oh, man. Make? Your head can do more than wear a crown. Use it. That leaves the area though. Vanishing sickness, huh? Like seriously, it is. It's so serious. Mysterious disappearances. Um. Until they were strong enough to fight. 
I really am being what nosy. Pity. Innocent souls waited to suffer at the hands of a foreign king. We're like well, against the game here. Not so empty after all, are they? Fascinating tidbit about your dear Prompto. Wow, oh, man, not turns this. out oh, he's no. not empty either. I thought he's it was got quite the skeleton in his closet. Security clearance raised to level 5. Access to level 5 zones authorized. The hell is this place? What are they keeping inside? what that is, but I got a hunch it's bad. Don't like it one bit. Bet there's something here. Which means it's locked. And if there's a lock, there's a key. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Things are looking up. How will this story end, I wonder? Intruder alert. Mobilizing dormant Magitech infantry. What the... Wait. Is that what's waiting inside? Oh, even more of them. Where are your friends? You don't think oh, they ran off without you? You still haven't found Gladio? Only a matter of time before Ignis bumbles into a trap. You must feel very much alone right now.
in there. Security clearance raised to level 6. Access to level 6 zones authorized. Your bodies have bright lives ahead of them. Don't take it personally if they choose their own, are we yours? No time, no time! Not so tough without your borrowed toys. any doubt. It's a trap. <laughs> reason we were brought here. That was close. Uh, the guy that that killed Luna is uh, Thanks. He's trying to After kill Noctis, we were basically. We received help. And he has one of his friends trapped. The usual so we're trying suspect. to find him. That bastard's playing with us. But at least we're together. All but one of us. Reunited with your retainers at last. How very touching. <laughs> yeah. Must be a fine feeling, having friends. Look how happy you are. I pray you find your dear Prompto soon. <sighs> Locked. Meaning, there's someone inside? <laughs> go. I knew you'd go that way. Oh, it was such a tease. Uh, 
Hey, you all right? Are you hurt? Do you need help? <sighs> I'm fine. <clears throat> Thank you, Noct. No sweat. Tell me, were you worried about me? Of course I was. What kind of question is that? <laughs> of course. That's why you came. Like I believed you would. Pronto. That's why I told myself I couldn't die. Not until I could see you. And hear you tell me I'm not a fake. And I'm the real me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Everything's alright now. Hear what? I've heard this sound before. On the train, just before your weapons failed you. It's nearby. And it may hold the key to restoring your power. It's here. This thing? Door's locked. That's coming from within. Is there no way through? There's a way. So MTs, they've got those code prints. Just like I do. Do they? Never looked. Yeah. So as it turns out, I'm one of them. Not exactly something I could tell people growing up in Lucis. Still, you guys are like the only friends I've ever known. I just hope that things can stay the way they were. Whatever. Who cares where you were born? I don't see you turning against us. Not now or ever. Thanks, guys. Still, <laughs> I can't change where I came from. This game gets a lot more sad. What I am. You missed Luna dying. Since when does where you come from matter to you? Hmm? You never once treated me as a prince. <laughs> it's got you there. Never so much as a highness. We're done here. Come on, crown citizen. You're one of us, right? You have to. Unless you'd rather not be. Me. He got close zapped. That means he's naked somewhere. <laughs> See, it's that easy. Device down and out. Nox power should be up and running. Go on, try it. All right. Moment of truth. <laughs> We're back, baby. <sighs> Good game. What a relief. <laughs> Let's roll. All right. Let's get my weapons back on. Oh wait, I have 
a shield for him. Friends, no choice really. You know, somebody here's got to fight to rescue the crystal. Not to mention rescue all of your asses. Spoken like a true king. <laughs> About time. The ring represents a great burden, but you don't bear it alone. You can say that again. Especially now that y'all have your weapons back. You have to go down the elevator or like what? Getting a few. All right, what? For things, Ignis. Feeling my way around. Is this the way? Yep. Yeah! Ignis, stay close to me. Nah. My time. and Wedge both made it to safety. Who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves.
let's get on with it. So, where'd you guys park the regalia? Outside. Though park ain't the right word. She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives. Now then, the crystal. I'm guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar. Aren't I? Where's that elevator? Like I'm supposed to know. I cannot wait to be out of this area. I cannot stand this map. This map is ridiculously long. Zero clue where to go. Is it like a non-existent elevator? Like what? I feel like this has to be the elevator though. There's nothing else here. I just there's like something here to go down.
There's like nowhere to go. I unlocked every part of the map, I think. There's a spot over here that it might be. It's saying it's in the central room. So let's see. It's saying it's in that throne room, but there's nothing there.
up. All right, found the way. Hey, buddy. Could you try to stick together? So, the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time.
A sorry end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Look alive! Company! Your dear friends are still alive. Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. Let's go. The crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. Cure the afflicted. 
His body would come to host myriad demons, and countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name this linear was. <laughs> Killing is in order to bring satisfaction. Claim the crystal's power. Arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and king are known. Strength of Chosen.
greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life, his own. to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the chosen. Yes. Many sacrificed all for the king, so must the king sacrifice himself for all. Uh, he have to. He had to go to the crystal to obtain his power. Um, and he's talking to the deity. I don't want to like spoil anything, but there's one thing he has to do in order to finish this. But now it's further in time. He was locked away in the crystal for a couple years. I think it was a couple years or a couple months, something like that. I forget how much time has passed. Was it 10 years or something like, yeah, I can't remember. Umbra. Be waiting in Hammerhead. There's only one more chapter left. Oh, I think your the friends tell you where how long you've been gone for. Cause Talgut's an adult now, isn't he? So yeah, I think it was like ten years. Where'd everybody go. Demons everywhere.
not familiar with the roads here. I can't really see. Oh, it's gotta be this way. Is there supposed to like talk? It's supposed to pick you up or something? Like, why isn't that happening? Yeah, it's pretty cool having the dog with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember too much of this. It's been a minute. That's cute. I'll see you later, dude. Yeah! Adios. Yeah, yeah me too. Was, this was like my comfort game way back when it first came up on the PS4. Oh yeah, here it is, you're right. A truck? Uh... Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkin. My grandpa served the Amasidia family? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? Listalem, more often than not. But they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. <sighs> oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light, thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. 
saw him. Let's see. Is he still alive and kicking? <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to La Stalin. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Dignus? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Pronto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. all you have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really it's you! It. I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. gonna push onward.
welcome. Come again. So yeah, no wedding just yet. <laughs> no wedding ever? Go figure. Hey, don't hate me. Hate the game, yeah, yeah. So we can't expect a formal introduction for some while then. Yeah, at least not till all of this is over. <laughs> can't in good conscience leave a girl to worry while I rush headlong into danger. Right. Gee, you ought to teach a master class in romance. Or acting. No acting here. I keep it real with the ladies. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. We've even got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. Aranea? So you do know her. Well, I'm not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. <laughs> but now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Say that. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Each of them leads their own small army. <sighs> That's great. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Oh, right. Uh, about the Empire. Huh. Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. With those two gone, Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. The Chancellor's still around, though. In insomnia. Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. Their stories piqued Ignis' curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But we did discover something pretty weird. Huh? While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Apparently he was hailed as a savior, healing all those who were ravaged by demons only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. Huh. I'm more than happy to tell you every safe travels, your majesty. Fellas, we're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit.
<laughs> home sweet home. Yeah, at long last. What have we been waiting for? Sure is. Are you with me? Of course. You bet. Until the very end. It's time to finish this. Once and for all. This is it. Give it your all, guys. Yeah. You got it! With yeah. 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 Hey! together like this in ages. Really takes it back, doesn't it? We may have struggled before, but now nothing can stand in our way. <laughs> it's like a new... See ya! There we go. Hmm. I'm surprised we haven't seen any glaives around here. Why would we? Because they're doing reconnaissance, dealing with the demons as they go. Their base is up ahead. Come on. Ready for this? Got a tough one on our hands. The formidable I'm a frog. Oh, well, he's a frog too. We're frog buddies. Yeah! 
just as good as ever. I've been here before. You okay? Surprised you asked. You really do care, big guy. Oh, someone's got to look after you too. Glad that's over. Indeed. No time to waste. But of course, your highness.